What we do here is go back, 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 back. back. Today we're going to talk some shit about tech destruction channels. I'm sure you guys have seen them. They will tie some fireworks to an iPhone and blow it up. Or they'll shove an iPhone in a donkey's ass to see if it survives. There's dozens of these channels and really they survive on shock value. Oh, what happens if you put an iPhone in, in coke and freeze it? Who knows? Maybe it'll get fucking cold. That's a big waste of money. There are a lot of YouTube videos that get a shit ton of views because they go the route of excess. They'll use a shit ton of Orbeez in a pool. They'll fill a pool with coke in the case of tech racks uh, or slime or dry ice or whatever. The reason I bring this up is because it speaks to the mindset that a lot of these channels have. They know that if you empty 1,500 gallons of pig's blood into a pool, that's enough to get views. You actually don't even have to do anymore. You don't actually have to even go in the pool and dance around in it or play Marco Polo or do anything remotely entertaining. Bro, can you do me a favor and dip your head in there? <laughs> All right. <coughs> Love you. There we go. Put water guns in the pool. Spray each other in the mouth with some fucking coke using the water guns. Feels quite nice, man. I got a Man. Whip your dick out and ejaculate into it for fuck's sake. I'm here to help you. Give me 1,500 gallons of Coke or Pepsi. I don't, I'm not exactly sure what they ended up using. And a giant pool. I will make a video 1,500 times better than the video that you made. Okay, maybe it won't be 1,500 times as better, but I'll, I'll grab a fucking water weenie and suck the Coke up with a water weenie. And that'll make you go, whoa. Like? You are not very creative. Don't let anyone tell you you can't make money on YouTube if you're not creative. You can be the most uncreative motherfucker on the planet and you can still get a lot of revenue because you are willing to cover your walls in condoms. How much brain power does it take to come up with one of these videos? Does it take a lot of brain power to uh, think of the idea to have a camel step on an iPhone? One of my favorite Tech Racks videos is one where he destroys an iPhone with a magnet. The thought process goes, I want to destroy another iPhone. I already bought the iPhone. I'll buy a magnet. Video complete. Oh, but what happens if it doesn't go to plan? Well, if it doesn't go to plan, just beat it to shit. What is up, guys? Tech Rex here. So I got a fully working iPhone 6S right here, and I want to slap that iPhone into the magnet. Phone is still working. That's a good sign. Anyways, slap it back on. And look at this, guys, the phone won't turn on. I know that it's very subjective, and a lot of you are like, that was actually really fucking entertaining, how fucking moronic he is. I, I can see that. I'm totally with you on that point. If he was intentionally retarded, then I'd be like, oh, hell yeah, this channel is the fucking best. And I'm not just saying that because they have videos like drilling a hole in the bottom of an iPhone to make a new headphone jack. That's obviously a joke. Unfortunately, I don't think this guy is actually the brightest screen in the bunch. Did I ever tell you what the definition of insanity is? Right now, we're gonna have Tech Rax introduce you to some of his iPhones. This is insane. That one is insane. This is incredible. This is insane. That's insane. Crazy. It's insane. This is insane. This... That is incredible. That's incredible. This is incredible. It's insane. That is incredible. This is crazy. Obviously, these tech channels don't draw people in because of their awesome personality. They're usually pretty dull, but they will sometimes supplement the tech destruction with a little bit of commentary. And oftentimes, this commentary just makes you say, stop. So if you go like this, guys, it feels like this phone is on, is on ice skates. This burger, this is what you guys are eating, is boiling down quick. This is the most relieving thing ever. It just feels like, I don't know, guys, you're massaging something good. It's blacker than 
anything I've seen in my life. Occasionally, you'll have an epic moment where uh, the dude doing the commentating sounds like a real fucking genius and uh, use words like initial impact. There's the initial crater, guys. I'm gonna show you guys the initial impact here. The top layer is everywhere. Might be messing up in the internals of the iPhone. Just a little bit of a closer analysis of what happened. This is the initial impact from the impact zone. That is insane. I was actually just gonna make fun of him for using the term initial impact when there was only one impact, but I, I don't think I can really ignore everything else. You have uh, a woman in a red dress in a field, looks like an indie film, then she just very lazily flops onto a cake, and that's it. That's the whole fucking video. They cut in half so you can see what the middle of it looks like. These guys do realize there's more tech out there than just iPhones. I mean, I know there is uh, an appeal to destroying something as pristine as an $800 brand new iPhone. Y if you want, you can buy a MacBook and just break it over your knee. Get a fucking DSLR and just put a railroad spike right through the lens. To prove to all the tech channels that you can destroy more than just an iPhone, I've decided to make a video where I destroy some alternative pieces of technology. What is up guys, Tech Rex here. Today I got something very special to show you guys. I gotta be careful walking over here though because I don't want to spill any of the drinks on my nice 2016 MacBook Pro drink stand. Anyways guys, these are 15 Amazon Dash buttons. How crazy is that? You have all sorts of different types. You have Energizer, Fiji... Oh no! my clothesline turned on. Like I was saying guys, what we're gonna do with these 15 Amazon Dash buttons is we're gonna grab them and slam them into a blender and we're gonna blend them up and see, uh, see if any of them activate. How crazy would that be if one of these ordered me some Energizer batteries? Okay guys, every time something gets ordered from one of these Amazon Dash buttons, you're gonna get a notification right here on my phone. Alright guys, this time to make sure we waste as much money as possible, I'm going to take down the lid. Wow guys, you have to check this out. We have Doritos dash button order placed, Bounty, your Fiji water dash button is currently unavailable, Playtex Sport, Hershey's Variety Pack dash button. What's up guys, it's four days later and we have all the products that we got from the broken Amazon dash buttons. Here we got the Hershey's pack. Doritos, Red Bull, whoa, this is really crazy guys, Slim Jims. Alright guys, now we're going to blend up some of the things that we ordered using the Amazon Dash buttons, just so it can be uh, full circles. Whoa guys, how crazy is that? It leaked out all on my bed. What the heck? I just bought these sheets. So freaking unsatisfying. One of the reasons people watch these videos is because they're satisfying. You know, if you can get it out of your head that that iPhone that's about to be hit by a hammer could have been mine, if you can get that out of your head, then it is satisfying to see something break, to see something shatter. However, there are a lot of these tech destruction videos that are the least satisfying thing on the planet. What's going on guys? Tech Cunt here, and today we're going to destroy a uh, drone. That's tech cunt. Let's take, for example, putting the Xbox in the pool full of dry ice. In the pool. Whoa, it's so satisfying to see it just disappear into the fog. Now you see the iPhone. Now you don't. Dropping the iPhone 7 Plus from the world's tallest building. Unfortunately, guys, that is a wrap. I'm on my iCloud, and this phone says it's offline. Well, you nailed the thumbnail and the title and all that. That was nailed. You should have thrown 30 of them off and then just fucking went home. Remember to subscribe to my channel, Tech Cunt, where I upload all the most unsatisfying technology destruction ASMR videos. In this video, I use a mixer on some Ethernet cables and a mouse. Drop tests, baby. Drop tests have been a staple on YouTube for a long time now. It started off very simple, no one wanted to actually destroy phones, but the first people who did it really pioneered the industry. They dropped a phone from one foot up, three feet up, and five feet up to see if it breaks. We're doing it for science. Uh, at this point, we're not really doing it for science, we're just doing it for a very beautiful thumbnail. Uh, really more of a monstrosity of a thumbnail, but 
It's exciting, and I sure as fuck am gonna click on that. Here it is, guys. Everything works perfectly fine. Okay, guys, so check this out. I can't really move it or move anything around. I don't mind the drop test videos so much. They got uh, a good amount of structure to them. You show people what's going on, you fucking throw that shit off the roof, you film the damages. <laughs> what could go wrong? We're gonna see if this iPhone will survive a 50-foot drop in this thing. All right, that seems like a good enough slot for it, don't you think? All right, there we go. We're all the way through. If you want, you can even cut out a little window right here so you can actually fully, fully use your phone. Hello? Is anyone there? Lamp drop test. We're gonna put the iPhone in a lamp and then we're gonna drop it and see what happens. Our breakfast is done. We're gonna do drop test in a toaster. Wine bottle drop test. If the phone doesn't break, does it really matter? We're breaking a wine bottle. All right, dude, we're just about ready. We got all the phones in place. Uh, I'm gonna do some final preparations. You can go downstairs and get ready. Fucking waste of money, like that. Yeah, man, this is super high up. Hey, dude, I, I replaced the phones with cardboard, so don't get any close-ups on the phones when I drop them. All right, I'll be right down. Good. This little comedy skit. I'll check. Take off. Now. Yeah. Wherever. I already got you guys on camera doing this. fucking radio they're like suspect uh, with the long hairs fling on foot and all this sort of shit and uh, I thought you're gonna get rolled up dude thank you for watching this has been content cop not every content cop is gonna be a big ass exposed piece but uh, hopefully it's entertaining enough for you go ahead and leave those comments about doing a content cop on your favorite people to hate don't don't film them however you guys might want to stand back Stand back. Nah, that's probably good. My name.